This Toyota Hybrid has over 200,000 kilometers and the fuel injector has never been cleaned before. So what do we say if we take advantage of this amazing opportunity and test for the first time our Ansel fuel injector ultrasonic cleaner machine? Let's take out the injectors and I'll show you how this machine works step by step. Here we go. Let's take out the injectors in three, two, one. Okay, we took apart absolutely everything. What do you think is the condition of this injector? Look, one, number two. They are kind of dirty, but with 200,000 kilometers, why are they not more dirty as previous vehicles that we clean that were actually way worse? But okay, okay, let's stop wasting time and let's go and set up pretty quickly the fuel injector machine. Here we go. Okay, rule number one before putting the injectors right here in the analyzer. You cannot put the injector just like this in the analyzer because remember, that uses a fuel pump inside with probably a tiny filter. If you put this injector like this, you're going to contaminate the liquid and the pump inside. So clean the injectors in the ultrasonic, make sure they're clean, and then let's go to the analyzer. That's how it's supposed to be. Let's let the cleaner do its job. Look, yes, with a little patience. Just apply a little key cleaner. I'm actually using some choke carburetor cleaning, which it really does the job. You don't want to put the uh, the brush, a steel brush, right here in the tip. Don't do that. You can damage the pattern, the spray pattern of the injector. There it is. And I'm just going to just clean it up. Look clean, right? Well, we could say they're clean enough, but did I mention that we have to replace all these seals as well? And I always strongly recommend use the original, okay? Now that wasted any time, let's put them in the ultrasonic. Here we go. Okay, the ANJ600, it's fully connected. Let's turn it on for the first time. And here we go, three, two, one. All right, we're fully active. So first, I'm going to connect this. I'm gonna put the injectors in this position. Let me see. One, two, three, four. There you go, that should be it. Then I need to connect them with this individual connections. The injectors are in position. Now I am going to use, this is a very strong fuel injector cleaner. Let me just put it here. Okay, now that she's turned on, let me just set it. Let's, oh, let me turn on the light. Looking good. And let me start the ultrasonic. There it is. That's it. The ultrasonic is doing its job. I am going to set it up for 20 minutes. And the good thing that when you're doing the ultrasonic and she's connected, she, the machine is actually pulsing the injector automatically. And because the machine is doing that, I'm gonna show you my personal, the very best secret to fully, fully flush the injector while it's being connected in the ultrasonic machine. Here we go. All we need is just a simple straw. Okay, now watch this. I'm just going to use the same liquid, place it over inside the injector. We just have to repeat this process over and over. And you will see, all the liquid begins to go down by gravity. Why? Because remember, we are actually pulsing the injector at the moment. 16 minutes, and I'm going to be here flushing it for probably five more minutes. There it is. Oof, when I touch it, it's actually hot. Whatever impurities that this could have before, look, the ultrasonic completely takes off everything and leave these injectors as good as new. So now it's definitely time to test in the analyzer. Here we go. Here, oh, yeah, they go pretty tight. Number two, number three, and number four. They're supposed to go exactly in probably this position. Now there is a problem. They go directly down, so I'm gonna have to use the this machine brings a bunch of washers to avoid this to happen. Yeah, here they are. Yep, here they are. Let me just take them up. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yep, perfect. <laughs> so I need four of them. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm placing the washers right here and there will be no problem. But first, I need to use the, I want to use this 100% uh, mineral spirits. That's the liquid that I'm going to use this. And to place it in level, it takes about 1.5 liters. 
Let me put it in right now. One second. Okay, let me open up the valve. Here we go. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. That is the only way that you can help us create way much more amazing educational videos about hybrid electric vehicles, preventive maintenance. Let me remind you that Ansel is giving away six individual code readers and battery testers that you can be the lucky winner. I'm going to leave you guys the link in the description. Just enter to the Gleam link and participate. Just sign up. It's very easy. And good luck because in January, you could be the lucky winner of one automotive scan tool and battery tester. So we will continue then. The next step is going to be placing these injectors. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, here we go. We just apply a little pressure. That's it. I'm going to connect. Let's connect the line right here. This is the pressure line. A little more clean. All right. Connections number one, two, three, four. There it is. Connections number one. Two. Three. And four. All right, that should be it. I'm gonna use the setting number one. All right, there it is. She's pressurizing the system now. There you go. That's it. We're finally here in operations. We're cycling the injector, applying pulse and applying pressure. We're applying over here. Mm, that pressure is too high. Let me let me take down the pressure. Pressure is in 100 psi. No, that's too much. Let me apply. I would say 60 psi for me is more than enough. So far, something that I like him very much is look at the level. It's very much equally, and it's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, almost done. That should be. It. I'm gonna go to the test number two. The test number two is middle speed testing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hmm, so far so good. We're reaching all the levels exactly equally, which is a good sign. Okay, let me drain. The test number three is high speed testing. High speed testing in three, two, one, go. Pressure, then acceleration. Here we go. All right, that's another story. 3000 RPM. Test number four is leak testing. So the test number four is just going to apply pressure to see if we see by chance any droppings. Test number four, three, two, one. All right, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see any droppings here. Mm -mm. She's applying full pressure and look, so far so good, absolutely not the most minimal dropping test. It's fine. Test number five is accelerating testing. Three, two, one. Here we go. Accelerating testing. <laughs> accelerating from zero to five thousand RPM. Pretty nice, eh? Okay, very nice. Let me drain again. Test number six is manual testing. What does that mean in manual testing? I wonder. Let's see what's manual. What is that? She's doing it by herself, pulsing by itself, applying regular pressure. All right. Let me stop. Let's go to uh, number seven is auto model. Three, two, one, go. Applying pressure. Let's see how we're looking. This spray pattern is actually beautiful. 
I'm gonna go now to the test number eight, which says simulation testing in three, two, one. I wonder what is this about? RPM variation going up and down, go up, up and down. Okay. Test number nine, it's circulation testing. In three, two, one. Wow! Very nice. This is how we properly clean the fuel injector using the ultrasonic machine and the analyzer from our good friends from Ansel. Clean the fuel injectors every couple years to keep your fuel injection system as good as it gets. Once we finish, take a look how the injector looking after the ultrasonic cleaning. It looks like good as new. Now we're going to place the brand new seals and install it back in the car. So before we finish, I want to thank very much my good friends from Ansel for sending me this amazing machine. It really does the job. It's fully automatic. I'm very impressed. It also uses the GDI at 75 volt and also the Piezo, the European 125 volt injector. So no, no, no. This is truly an amazing machine. Now, hear this. These injectors are as good as new. It's time to assemble. I am super satisfied with this fuel injector machine. I'm probably gonna begin to advertise this service in my channel. Mm, we'll see, let me know in the comments. So if you want to know more, stick around for this. I'll see you then, bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. It's incredible after the service, check out the uh, check out the fuel trims. We have over here the short term and the long term, look. Practically zero, which means that this is burning impeccable.